Glass alchemy is at the forefront of the borosilicate glass movement and has pioneered high-quality colored glass since opening their doors in 2000, even after years of operating. The expectations for the future remain high. The possibilities are endless as we branch out into different products and different possibilities. Despite the optimistic outlook on the future of glass alchemy, the beginnings were bleak and its survival often looked doubtful. We raised $375,000 to start this with a house that was falling down as the only collateral. And then we finally found a place. And we moved in and there was no power in the panel on the wall. So $75,000 of the first loan went straight into putting the power in. I was not happy. The furnace caved in because the borosilicate fumes dissolved the refractories. And so we had invested about 85000 in building three of those furnaces during that year when pipe dreams took place. And because of pipe dreams, it took us another three years to actually make our very first dollar. Despite an uphill financial battle, the Grimmets were driven by their main motivation, art. The intention was to give birth to this industry through color. There were some colors that I wanted to make. I wanted to see in the industry uh, so that I could use them uh, as a lamp worker myself. And uh, they weren't available, so that, that was part of that motivation. There's too much potential for this art form for there not to be a color palette. We started making colors, but when we were hoping to had introduced maybe 20, 30 colors, we introduced six. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, so the early, very early was very difficult. But the Grimmets and Glass Alchemy would overcome the seemingly endless obstacles placed before them. And as the company began to solidify its position atop the industry, it soon became a family affair. It was definitely a moment, you know, where it was like very emotional for the whole family kind of thing. Where it was just like, oh, letting them know I wanted to do what they had spent, you know, the la or last, you know, few years of their life dedicating everything into and really helping the, the industry expand, the palette expand. Once the first member of the second generation of Grimmets joined the family business, it didn't take long before the infectious nature of the industry spread to another. 
Thomas got so enthused and excited about it, uh, ultimately it was what reeled Jody in. And I would see him come home with the passion for what he was doing, and it was really electrifying, and it really drew me in. The Grimmets looked forward to the day that Thomas and Jody would purchase the business and continued to build their legacy. That doesn't mean the challenges are all behind them. So much changes in the industry every six months as far as like what's hot trend-wise and what's going on, but a lot of the processes and procedures here at the shop have to evolve. The cutting edge equipment and machinery that keeps GA producing glass are all maintained, designed, and custom built in-house. ever-evolving industry, the Grimmets can take solace in one very important constant, themselves. GA wouldn't be what it is right now if it wasn't for the four different family members all having their work styles. If you picture a car kind of going uphill, you know, at some point it runs out of gas. And having the kids here is, is like putting gas back in my tank. They, they bring me a lot of energy. The most important thing for Jody and Thomas to know from me is that I believe in them. And I'm very pleased that they're taking over the company. It is kind of nice uh, in the sense that, uh, you know, there are not a lot of parents who can say that. And there's a lot of parents out there who have companies, they want their kids to take over and they won't have anything to do with it. And they're good companies. And I can sit there and grin. And then everybody says, you did something right. Well, the two of them know that their mother did most of it right, but I did some. We've worked really hard to make sure that this is ongoing. The, when I'm gone or when Susan's gone, Glass Alchemy is still here. It's definitely a permanent business. They're brilliant, they won't fail. And they'll carry the artists to the next level. I have no doubt. The only thing permanent here is, in fact, change. All the time, it's changing, changing, changing.